Chatham County officials provided an update on where they stand with collecting fire fees under the new format. And so far, there's still more than $3 million that have gone uncollected after the due date earlier this month. Here's what the numbers look like as of the county's most recent calculations. They build more than $13.5 million across more than 36,000 invoices. Of that, the county has collected more than $9.5 million. That still leaves $3.9 million uncollected. County officials say more than 70% of people billed have paid the fee, which had a due date of January 16th. The fee covers fire services for the county's fiscal year from July 2022 to June of this year. Commissioners acknowledge that many of their constituents were getting larger bills than they were before. Chatham County Emergency Services CEO Chuck Kearns says it's all because the cost to provide fire services has gone up. Costs don't go down every year. Costs go up. We're in a competitive market for labor. Everybody is short staffed and we're competing with around 12 or 13 other fire departments in this area for firefighters. And it's not just salaries for firefighters. Everybody has experienced the price of fuel going up and, and those uh, big diesel fire trucks, they don't get good gas mileage. And, and, that, and then once they get on scene, they're fighting a fire. The engine has to remain running at high RPM the whole time to keep the pump operating. County officials say fire services billed approximately $11 million before the new billing system. County commissioners are requesting exact numbers on where the increase in funding is being used, which will be discussed at their next meeting. County officials say those who haven't paid their fire fee will be charged a late fee of 10% or $25, whichever is greater, and they'll be issued a second invoice. In Chatham County, Haley Boland, WTOC News.